I want this room to feel very calm, peaceful, and just zen when I walk into it. When I say this makes no sense, this makes no sense. Oh, that's way cuter. So I'm keeping the decor style and color theme on the neutral side, but I still want it cute, trendy, and warm and inviting at the same time. Okay, so today is officially day one of operation. Let's get this room together. I am dedicating my entire day to building furniture and getting this room cleaned out because like I said, it's terrible right now and nothing is getting in here until I get it cleaned out. So my bed comes in today, my dresser came in the other day and I'm gonna try to knock both of those out today so I can go ahead and get started with the fun stuff like decorating and organizing and things like that. Okay, so I got this bed from Wayfair and it was under $200 and I got it on sale for their Way Day sale and but the normal price whenever I was shopping and looking and making sure this was the one was literally only like $220-ish which is still an insane deal for a bed. If you're looking for like a guest bedroom or and you want to save money and you aren't trying to splurge, I would definitely go for it because it's the same style and vibe as the ones that are like the more expensive ones that you see at like West Elm and things like that. So I would say go for it. Okay, so moving on to the bedding, I have been basically just sleeping on a duvet sheet for the last few weeks waiting for these duvet inserts to come in. So I heard about this hack where you can make your bed like fluffy and feel like a hotel bed by adding two duvet inserts into the duvet cover. So we're going to try that out and see if it works. Let's get into it. Said this makes no sense this makes no sense So today is officially the very last day of the room makeover process I would say that after today, I'll probably be about 95% done. I am still missing a few pieces that I haven't been able to find, but it's as done as it's gonna get for now. And I am going to give you guys a quick haul of everything I got, and we're gonna jump into the decorating. Okay, so first, I got this nightstand from Hobby Lobby. I am seriously obsessed with it because one, I did not have to build anything, and two, it's exactly, almost exactly what I was looking for in the price range that I was looking for. The next thing that I got for my room was this lamp. Um, this lamp is from Target and it's exactly what I was looking for. I absolutely love it. I think it was like 40 bucks, so not bad for a lamp. Okay, so the next thing that I got is this faux fiddle leaf fig plant. I got this plant because I have a real one right here, but it's not mine, it's my mother's. And I don't really want to be held responsible for keeping it alive. So I got this faux one, but as I'm looking at it, it looks a little skimpy. Like all the reviews online said, and the 
way people had it styled like it looked really good and it actually did look real but now that i'm looking at it it's kind of skimpy but i guess we'll just have to like see how it looks whenever i put it whenever it all goes together because right now i'm liking the look of this one way more to kind of go along with the plant i got this super cute basket that now i'm thinking is too big for it's too big for it but um this basket is from target and it's just woven really prettily prettily is prettily a word but it's really pretty i think this was like 18 dollars uh, um that i am just planning on using to stick the plant in. Sticking to the basket trend, I got this blanket basket. I got this color to kind of warm the room up a little bit. It looks like a big beach bag right now, but once you put stuff in it, the it'll take on the shape of like a, like a standard round basket. But this could be used as a laundry basket, um, like a toy basket if you have kids or animals or pets or whatever. It can literally be used for anything. And yeah, it's just super cute. The next thing that I got is this really cute cream vase. This is from At Home and it was literally only 13 bucks and it's super cute. It's like a ceramic-y vibe. And I am using this to fill it with pompous grass okay so this is the pompous grass that i got and i'm just gonna put these in the vase for a like fluffy effect they go right on my dresser last and certainly not least i got a mirror for my room um it's black and i think it's like 65 inches so five foot five i'm only five foot one so it's taller than me and I think it's like two feet wide. So I'm gonna unbox this really fast and see what it looks like. I'm literally so scared that this is going to be shattered that I'm just too afraid to even flip it over. But here goes nothing. Okay guys, she is shatter free. Okay, so I need your guys' opinion on the mirror situation. Ignore the mess. But okay, so this was the original location plan for the mirror. I wanted it to be facing the corner with the plant in front of it and then against the mirror and against like the window here. But like just at first glance i feel like it looks weird but maybe it's just me but let me know in the comments if it should go how it is here or if it should go over here on this wall in front of my bed so excited with how the room turned out literally it couldn't have matched my vision anymore like i said i still have a few more pieces like something to go on the wall over here i need a bowl to put these um beads in so i'm just gonna lay them there for now but overall i am very satisfied with how the room turned out um i don't think i went over it but this blanket is from Target and I just laid it across and then this body pillow cover is from Etsy and it's 100% linen and then I got the long body pillow itself from Amazon, like the insert itself from Amazon. 
everything that I talked about in today's video will be linked in the description box down below. If you guys want to see more home decor videos, home decor tips, organization videos, home hacks, things like that, be sure to subscribe to my channel for a new video every single Sunday. Bye guys.